Look, are you searching the Boise Valley high and low for the perfect suburb and you don't know where it is? We're gonna dive into five or six subdivisions here in Star, Idaho to figure out which subdivision would be perfect for you. We're gonna dive into Toll Brothers Homes, we're gonna dive into Tercidio, we're gonna go to Pristine Lakes, we're gonna go to Star River Ranch. There's quite a few subdivisions we're gonna go to and you are gonna wanna see all of them. We're gonna go into every neighborhood, dive into all the HOA fees, prices, builders, the whole works, and we're even gonna talk about right now some of the distances to local hospitals, shops, restaurants, all the good stuff that you wanna hear, so stay tuned. We're and dive into everything at Star Idaho. All right, so driving from downtown Star to our first subdivision here, this is Kalina Vista. Kalina Vista used to only be like Core and Highland and a couple other builders. Now Kalina Vista is only Toll Brothers. Remember, Toll Brothers has a ton of land in Star. We're gonna to touch on that here shortly when I get to the next subdivision. But Toll Brothers has the remainder lots of Kalina Vista. They are inching into this hillside. I don't know if you can tell, but we are going into the foothills here and they kind of are just carving out the mountain and we're gonna, you rise up with each little shelf you get a little better view of the valley here in Kalina Vista. But we're gonna step in, we're gonna walk the streets and kind of talk about Kalina Vista just a little bit. So Kalina Vista, this one is Toll Brothers, like I just said in the car. You can see it, we're on a street where they're still building out. We'll show you later the models that are behind the camera, but this is a subdivision where you go from about 550 all the way up to about 1.1. You go 0.15 acre lots all the way up to 0.6 and change. What you'll find in this subdivision as it's shelved, it, as you go up, the south facing backyards actually have a nice little view of the Treasure Valley, so it's kind of nice. One of the nice things about this subdivision that it has is a nice pool, walking pass. Unlike the next subdivision we're going to of Toll Brothers, this has no pickleball court, but the HOA here is only 720. And I'll touch on this more later, but 720 does include your outdoor water, that includes your walking pass, it includes your common areas, it includes your swimming pool. So honestly, $720 to have a swimming pool not bad however if you do use the water for your watering lawn just that alone it's worth 720 so you could really justify HOA fees really easily this is the second Toll Brothers neighborhood we're looking at. This one's called Crested El Sol. Prices tell me that this one is just a hair nicer than the other one we were just at. You'll see homes in here that range from 600,000 up to 900,000. There's actually some under contract for a little bit more than that as well. This one's got a lot to offer. Really close to the neighborhood we are going to be at next at Sunfeld Estates. These ones are both located in North Star. This one is all Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers comes in, they buy the lots, they develop the land, they build the homes, they're everything. They're your bank, they require a certain amount of money down. It really is not going to be something that's too hard to get into. Their processes on the front end are really smooth. The home, you'll like it on the end. There is one video I did on the two builders I don't love to build with. Toll Brothers is one of those home builders that I put on my top two builders I would not build with. Now, I don't wanna say that they're terrible. I don't wanna say I don't trust them. I think their end product is great. I think their upfront processes are great as well. But in between, if they don't have a tile color or a carpet choice or something that you chose in their design center and it's time to choose that they in my opinion haven't shown that they cared to my customers i've seen a few times where that happens but the end product what you get those customers are generally happy but just put on your seatbelt, buckle up it's gonna be a little bit of a roller coaster but end product i think you're gonna be just fine let's go take a look at the inside the subdivision we just ran into carrie uh, the sales rep for toll brothers here she talked us through the neighborhood actually this is the nicest toll brothers sub and i kind of got the feel from when i've showed these homes in here i've walked through some of their models but it's the nicest of the toll brothers homes in star idaho toll brothers Toll Brothers owns a lot of the land, of those farm fields, those corn fields, the hillsides. Toll Brothers has developed a ton. Kalina Vista, they have now is branched out into other builders. We're gonna visit that later. They also have Elisa Creek. They have the subdivision we were just at. This is Crested Del Sol. Uh, Crested Del Sol really is their nicest subdivision in Star. So this one has a pickleball court behind me, swimming pool that's being built out right now. You might be able to see that right now as you listen to me talk. But really, this is one of their nicest subdivisions in Star. The HOA fees are about a thousand bucks a year. Remember, HOA fees in Idaho don't cover what your California taxes and Melaroos and all that stuff kind of covers. What the thousand dollars is gonna get you is water for your lawn that's outside your house does not include the water inside your house that stuff's cheap that's only like 40 bucks a month tops 36 i think in my last home in eagle but a thousand bucks a month to get you the pool it's going to get you the pickleball court it's going to get you the walking paths this is mowed by the hoa's a thousand dollars a year it maintains your home values i know people hate the hoa when they come by and give them the put your trash can notice away but remember it keeps your home values up and that's why hoa's exist but the big thing that hoa's have that most other states don't have is water rights so with those water rights you can water your lawn and it takes care of a lot of that so don't pay a dime to water your lawn 
So like I said before, one of the nicest Toll Brothers subdivisions in Star is here, Crested El Sol. Price ranges go all the way up to 900,000. I'm thinking that number is gonna top a million. You'll find three bed, two bath homes. You'll find five bedroom, three and a half bath homes. It really has quite a collection of homes. Speaking of collections, that's what they call their woodland, their garden, their river bend. Those are how nice those homes are. They have them all here. They have homes that have been featured in luxury subdivisions that are now hitting this subdivision. This is definitely their nicest sub. If you compare that to all the subs here, the only one that touches that is the 55 and older community. Uh, that's the Regency from Toll Brothers. We won't be going there, but we'll touch on some of the data there. Regency is great for 55 and older community, has a lot of amenities for 55 and older. If that's your jam, you can send me a message as well, or put a comment below if you need a video on that. Happy to do one there as well, because those 55 and older communities, they really need quite a bit of time to dive into them. Brian, how many homes are available right now? How long does it take to, to complete a home? Okay, so this subdivision, I don't know the exact number of home sites off the top of head. Hundreds, we got a couple hundred lots more coming. One thing, and you can see that back here, but with Toll Brothers, it's about a nine month build process, just from my experience. In fact, they'll tell you it's somewhere around that eight to 10 month range. I would actually probably pad that by 30 days or so. They're a little bit generous or lack of generous, whatever you want to call it on their timeframes. They build a home, they build a good home, like I said, it will take them a little extra time. I've never had one home of theirs finish on time. So Brian, do you ever sell any Hubble homes? Uh, what's the quality with Hubble? Great question. Like for real, if Hubble, Hubble has that name, right? Where they used to, the 2000 name, they're, they're shaking that off. But like this Greendale Grove we're passing by, they have larger lots here. We, at one time, before we moved out to Middleton from Eagle, we were gonna go from Eagle to Star. Well, we thought about going from Eagle to Star. It would have been about the same square footage, but twice as big a lot, it's like a third of an acre. And we would have paid a little bit less than what we were paying in Eagle for that Greendale Grove. I've been through their, their homes. I mean, they're not, you know, they're, it's nothing that you're gonna write home and say, I've got the nicest house in the block. But considering it's a good quality home, maybe not every finish in the world, I honestly feel like it's a good, it's something I'd feel happy about putting the customer into. I've sold Hubble homes, yes, but never out here in Star. Real quick, guys, my name is Brian Hymas, born and raised in the Boise Valley. I love all things real estate. I've been doing this for the last six or seven years. I've been helping out-of-staters just like you come into town, really from this YouTube channel for the last two or three years. So if there is a need for you guys or a want to get out of your liberal state or you're moving here for work or whatever it is, give me a call, a text, an email at the number on your screen or the email on your screen, and we will get you set up on the Buying and Boise Blueprint, which helps you narrow in what you're looking for so you don't miss out on any homes, so you don't overpay for any homes and you don't buy a lemon. Those three things are taken care of on each home and we're gonna figure out the timeline for you guys to get here and help you make it a smooth transition from A to Z and we'll handle everything for you, making it super simple. We'll come to town. I promise you, you'll be amazed at how awesome it is, but let's get going on that next neighborhood. This is Pristine Springs, located about Northwest Star. This is a great area. You're getting RV bays. If you look around, every home I pass here is gonna have an RV bay. I think it's code, or uh, not code. I think it's part of the CCNRs that you have an RV bay here. Star as it is, is the home of the RV bay. There was a builder. Uh, named Sunrise Homes. They came in about 10, 15 years ago and just started building RV bays in Star. Kind of caught fire. This, that, this north corridor of Highway 44 is kind of a adventure corridor. Eagle, Star, Middleton kind of hit that Highway 55 going up to McCall. Price tagged in here, reach up above a million, kind of touch the 1.1 area for the high ho end homes, as low as 600 here. And like when you look at the HOAs, about $600 a year. So in my opinion, you're getting a ton for reasonable price compared to what's around. Lots, you don't feel like these homes are squished together. I mean, if you look around, I just really like everything about this neighborhood. If I was building in Star or going to Star right now and I wanted a new home, my pick out of all these neighborhoods probably would be this one. We're gonna see a couple neighborhoods, Star River Ranch and Heron River, both great subdivisions as well. You could make an argument that that's where you'd wanna end up, but I just think bang for your buck, price tag, amenities, RV bays, how close the homes are together, the field, the mature landscape. To me, this is my pick, but let me know in the comments below what your pick would be. You've seen what I've so shown you. Big Springs Construction's in here, Presidio. In my opinion, when you when you work with these builders, they've got their processes down too. Toll Brothers, National Company, these other companies are more local. And you can feel that if you can even just look with the camera right now, Scott, like I would just say like that field to me doesn't look as so homogenous as maybe the Toll Brothers have. And to me, I like, I like this field. This is beautiful Star River Ranch. This is a prized gem located right off the Boise River, Southwest Star. The homes here go from 700,000 to 1.6. You'll find home sites that are less than a third of an acre, even more up to the 0.6 acres, somewhere in there. You got a massive home, which does not count in that data because it's absolutely massive. I mean, it's like 10, 15,000 square feet. So without counting that home, most of the other homes are just like this is a small home for this subdivision. Super, super nice. You got Taylor Jean Homes. You got MK Custom Homes. 
You've got Cedar and Sage. We're located really close to the new Albertsons. Like really, you could probably get up there on a moped. We're super close to where the development is going in Star. That's between Star and Middleton. In fact, this is a Star address, but it's really, really close to Middleton. The other day I was actually doing research for a customer who wants a home around seven or $800,000. There's one for 700. It's like 2,600 square feet. It had a deep bay or an RV bay. If I can find it, I will pull it and show you on this video. Absolutely stunning home, but it was just a spec home. And they're, you know, how builders are right now, they're trying to turn their money. So if their money's not turning, they're gonna be trying to work a deal on some of those homes. And that's not every deal. That's not every home. That's not every builder. It's not every subdivision. But when you find one of those homes, it's very good to take advantage of it. You could build custom here as well. It's gonna cost you more. So if you do find a spec home in here, way better way to go in terms of the budget. So for the HOA price, you're gonna get a pool. You're gonna get a ton of walking paths. You get the river access. You have a, three huge ponds in this neighborhood. So you do get a ton for that HOA fee here. Just like the other locations, we're really close to Eagle. We're really close to the shopping Costco, Target, Whole Foods is way yonder. Don't even worry about Whole Foods because a lot of people ask me about Whole Foods. Trader Joe's is off the Eagle Road. That's a good 20 minutes from here. You'll have Cafe Rio, big one coming in. There's a cookie dough shop going into the Albertsons. I give them a nod because they're my customers. They're putting in a cookie dough shop there, but really thriving area right here. Middleton is just a hop, skip and jump that way. Eagle is a hop, skip and jump that way. This is really at the heart of all the development in Star. This is Heron River. This one has an Eagle vibe to it. This is located in Star, Idaho. You actually pass by Ridley's to get here. You've got tennis courts, pickleball courts. You've got a clubhouse. You've got a workout facility for 400 bucks a quarter and the HOA that can be yours. You've got very respectable builders in here. Everything about Heron River is awesome. The location is right next to a bunch of stores, all the downtown star area. Very, very, very conservative area, family oriented area for the out of staters coming here. I don't say this is more conservative than other places. I just know that in the little bit of time that we've been here, we've already seen a couple razors go up and down the streets. Better than the last neighborhood we're at that chased us out of the neighborhood with their HOA. So you know, watch out for the uh, Karens that might be about, but this neighborhood seems pretty friendly when you look at the whole scope of it. This is not the only section that's nice. There's a ton of phases in here and each phase had a little bit different feel and a little bit different lot size and things like that. But you can tell, I mean, obviously a beautiful place. This would be a great place to plant your roots. Prices here, you'll go from 400,000 all the way up to like 1.6. And that's just this year's prices. You'll find homes that are on 0.13 acres with a smaller 1,400 square foot home, you know, hitting that 400. I'm surprised I saw that, to be honest. That's like CBH quality price. And then you'll find there's a home that's right now, it's 2,700 square foot, 0.3 acres, new on the water. And that one is 1.475. So there is quite a difference. I wouldn't count on finding that $400,000 home again in this neighborhood. In fact, I'd count on that being a little bit closer to the 600 range. All right, next up, Sunfeld Estates. This one's located in North Star. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from Highway 16. Remember, that's that highway that's gonna be connecting Emmett and Star and Eagle down to the freeway. Really a good, intimate neighborhood. 70 home sites, about half the homes in here are located on common ground. Tons of pathways for a subdivision that only has 70 homes. Really a nice subdivision. RTL is in here, Hunter Homes is in here, Stacy Construction is in here, another couple in here, Cambridge Homes, and then one of the bigger builders that I'm really familiar with, know them extensively is Solitude Homes. They have quite a few lots in here as well. Acreages in Sunfield Estates range from 0.15 acres all the way up to 0.6. That's gonna be a cul-de-sac lot that fans out in the back. You're gonna find homes with two bathrooms, two and a half, up to three and a half bathrooms. You're also gonna find homes as low as 587 in here, as high as 930. Honestly, if you like the walking paths, kind of secluded, a little bit smaller feel, not the huge subdivisions, there's no pool here. If you're into that tight-knit community, I kind of feel like this is gonna get that feel here. So this subdivision might be for you if you're under a million, up in that six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar range and you're looking for an intimate community. Star Idaho is growing a ton. It's west of Eagle, east of Middleton, and it's got a new Albertsons going in, it's got shops, it's got car washes, it's got restaurants that are starting to come up here. This place kind of used to be really far from everything. The new Highway 16 that's being built all the way from Emmett down to the freeway is really gonna connect Star to the freeway and connect Star really to everywhere in the valley. You'll love that Star's got a ton of new homes, a ton of options. Really, they've got lower end homes with uh, CBH, with Hubble, with Hayden, and those are homes that I'm not gonna touch on in this video, but you've also got Toll Brothers, you've got Pristine Springs, you've got Heron River, you've got Star River Ranch, all these places that are really close to everything at Star. So Star is only about a 
If I had to guess a two mile radius in all directions, located right in the Boise River, if we were to go to from here to Costco, we're probably 15 minutes. If we go here to Target, we're probably 20 minutes. We go to the nearest hospital, there's a tiny St. Al's in Star. There's a ton of healthcare options, whether it's St. Luke's off Eagle Road. When you live in Star, you're actually gonna end up shopping in Eagle, North Meridian, and even Nampa off the Garrity exit. That's where you'll probably go to Costco. That's where you're gonna go to Cole, Sportsman's Warehouse, Dick's, Chick-fil-A. Uh, that's where new In-N-Out is going. It's probably gonna be your In-N-Out when that comes here in the next year. So Star actually finds itself positioned kind of 15 minutes from everything. If you just kind of take that as the general rule, nothing is next door. You've got a Ridley's, which is a grocery. You've got Ace Hardware. You've got a couple dentists in town. Shout out to Carson Dial, best dentist in Star by a mile. We even travel from Middleton to Star for him. Great dentist. When we talk about schools, we've got a Waikiki or Eagle High School from Star. It's kind of split. You've got Star Elementary and Star Middle School. Decently new. The school ratings here are good. Last time I looked at them, there was pretty raving reviews about the Star um, school system. In fact, I should give you a little shout out for the school system, the ratings. Everywhere you look, you're gonna find good, you're gonna find bad. Another thing we might touch on just real quick is the traffic out in Star. It's kind of located in its own little pocket, right? So you'll get some five o'clock traffic when you go from Eagle to Star at the five o'clock hour or coming in for eight o'clock in the morning you'll get some back to traffic from Middleton hitting Star hitting Eagle uh, even further as you go from Eagle to downtown Boise but again that highway 16 that's gonna be built out is gonna take care of all of that you just hit that highway 16 and then you're on the freeway you're probably downtown in 25 minutes from Star in the future right now Star to downtown is about 40 minutes it's actually in a spot that's kind of far from the freeway You'd rather be maybe in Middleton where you're close to the freeway exit, or you'd rather be in Eagle where you're closer to Eagle Road to hit the freeway down on Eagle Road. So to get in the, the traffic, once you're in Star though, the traffic is really small town. It's four-way stops, there's hardly any lights, and it's, it's growing, it's not gonna stay this way. In fact, all the farmland you see is basically bought up. It's gonna be built on, but for the most part, it's a small town feel right now. Highway 16 is gonna make it a little bigger, but a great community, great families, great 4th of July parades, great 4th of July fireworks. A lot to love about Star Idaho. Guys, if you love Star's neighborhoods, you're gonna want to peek at Legacy versus Dry Creek. That video is right there for you. Go check that out. It's actually gonna tell you all about what the differences are between those two neighborhoods, but you'll be able to see a clear difference between the Eagle subdivisions and Star's. It's not like they're out of this world, but they're a little bit different. Go check out that video, Dry Creek versus Legacy. See you there. There you go. People are filming, get out of there. Okay. Um, if it's gonna be a, if you're gonna, and we're just gonna pause because I don't know what else is in here.